Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, we're going to use the Taylor series expansion to evaluate the function f of x equals the square root of x. We're going to only use the degree 2 polynomial expansion, which means we have the constant term, the f prime term, and the f double prime term, and we don't use the others. How can we get away with that? Well, we're going to let a equals 16, which falls right in the middle of that range, which means that either number 15 or 17 is not all that different from the number 16, so it shouldn't take very many terms to converge to the correct value. And so we can get away with just only using degree 2. If we had used the Maclaurin series of this function, we probably would need 10, 15, or 20 terms in order to converge closely to the number we're looking for. So let's try this. We're going to first evaluate the expansion here for x equals 17. So we're going to use the upper limit and then the lower limit and see what we get. So the Taylor series expansion for the first three terms, that means degree 2 for x equals 17 is equal to, and now notice what we've already done ahead of time. We've taken our function, we found the first derivative, the second derivative, the third derivative, which of course we didn't need here, but just so you can see how that works. And then we evaluated the function, the first derivative, the second derivative, and the third derivative for the value a equals 16 to get these coefficients here. Makes it easier to come up with the Taylor series expansion. So the function evaluated 16 is equal to 4, and sure enough, if we want to know what the function is at x equals 16, notice when we plug in 16 here and 16 there, those two terms disappear, and all you have the first term, which gives us the exact value for the function at x equals 16. But at x equals 17, we'll get very close, and we can see how that works. So we get 4, and then here plus f prime evaluated 16, which is 1 8, divided by 1, so we get 1 8, times 17 minus 16, which of course is 1, and then plus f double prime of 16 is minus 1 over 256, so minus 1 over 256 times 2 factorial, which is 2, times 17 minus 16, to the second power. Forgot the second power over there. Can't forget that. All right, now let's evaluate this. I need a calculator for that. So we have 4 uh, plus 1, 8, that's 4.125, minus this, because they have a minus in here. So let's go ahead and do that. So this would be 1, 1 divided by 5, 12. So we have 4.125 minus 1 divided by 5, 12 equals, and that gives us a value of 4.123. And let's just go two more or three more decimal places, 4047. Okay. What would the actual square root of 17 be, just for a reference? So let's try that. So we take 17, take the square root, and that gives us the actual value of 4.123106. So notice, for the first three decimal places, we get the exact value by only utilizing the first three terms in the expansion. That's really good. Now let's do the other side, the valuation of the function when x equals 15. So that's equal to 4 plus 1 over 8 times 15 minus 16. Well, that will make this a negative. And then here we have plus a negative 1 over 5 12 times 15. 15 minus 16 squared, and of course since it's squared it becomes a positive one, so this is negative, this is negative, and that gives us 3.875 minus 1 divided by 5, 12, and that gives us 3.873047. And what would the exact value be if we were to take the square root of 15? Let's take a look. Square root of 15 gives us 3.872983. And you can see how close we got 3.8730, 3.87298. So you can see very, very close by picking the correct number of terms, degree 2, only three terms, but picking the correct A 
a number very close to the range that we're looking for. And so now we realize that the square root of the function, square root of the function being the square root of x, or I should say the function, the square root of x, can be evaluated between x equals 15 and x equals 17 by very short Taylor series expansion, getting values very close to the actual value. Now you can see the power of the Taylor series expansion. That's how it's done.